Hi everyone, I'm Francine Klein, Senior Solutions Architect at Vendia, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite features released in Vendia Share. An exciting feature was the new Vendia Metrics page. Let's do a quick walk run through. This page provides an overview of the activity in your uni that occurred in the last 24 hours. To demonstrate this, we use one of the available examples on Vendia's GitHub page to generate activity in our uni. Here is the metrics page that we'll do a quick walkthrough. At the top, you can see the number of mutations, any updates made to the data. At the left is an overview of what's been queued for consensus. What this represents is the waiting room or backlog for any changes made on your node to be propagated to all the other nodes in the uni. This number is high only when a very large volume of data is exchanged and therefore has to be queued to be processed. For a larger queue, also known as a backlog, you can see the burn down as the data makes it through to the other nodes. The next section gives metrics for an individual node. In this example, it's the retailer node. You can see the volume of API requests representing the request to read or write data, along with the latency, which is the time to complete that request, and time for that information to be available at the rest of the nodes in the uni. Last is the data size how much data exists, either as scala data or file data, and the block height, which represents every change that has been ledgered. To observe these metrics, try out one of the available examples on Vendia's GitHub page or one of the quick starts. This video uses the example approach to bulk load data into a uni. Try the Vendia share platform yourself for free at vendia.com developers.